Hi, this is Rob. This is the Vicary trail camera. It is water resistant. It is not completely waterproof. You cannot submerge it into a river, but it is rated water resistant to IP66 rating, which means that it will stand up against heavy rain. This trail cam has a 120 degree field of view, takes photos and videos, records in high definition, and has a LCD screen to display the menu and to quickly view your photos and videos. It has everything to get started out of the box. So let's see what you get in the box. You get four AA batteries. This trail camera can hold up to eight AA batteries so that you can extend the standby time of the trail camera. A 32 gigabyte micro SD card. This micro SD card is already installed in the SD slot when you open up the box. A user's manual. The trail camera itself. A stand support, the screws for the stand support, a stand mount. The stand mount and the stand support are for mounting the camera to a wall. A installation mount strap for mounting the trail camera to a tree. And a micro USB cable to connect the camera to a computer. This is a close up of the trail camera. On the bottom is this power supply port. A power supply cable is not included. Instead of powering this trail camera with batteries, you can get a 6 to 12 volt DC adapter cable to power this trail camera. And this is the port where you screw in the stand support. On front of the trail camera, this is the lens. These are the infrared LED lights to illuminate the scene at night when the camera is triggered. This is the PIR motion sensor that will trigger the camera to start recording. PIR stands for Passive Infrared Sensor. PIR sensors detect emitted infrared energy from objects, humans and animals, but also cars, in the form of heat. It detects a change in temperature from the ambient temperature and it can detect up to a 30 foot range. However, you can set the sensitivity of the sensor and I'll show you how later. On the inside, the LCD screen, the menu control and playback control buttons, a speaker when playing back video. This is the micro SD card slot, the USB cable slot, the off test and on button. On the right is the battery compartment. You can put in either four or eight AA batteries. When you first turn on the camera, you want to turn on to test mode. This is so that you can go into the menu and set up the camera. I will now go into the menu to show all the features of this camera. Press the menu button. Up top is mode. It is highlighted red because the menu cursor is over it. And to enter mode, press the OK button. You can set up the camera just to take photos or just to take videos or to take both photos and videos. In the photos and videos mode, the way it works is that the camera will take a series of photos first, the number of photos in the series you can set, and I'll show you that later, then record a video at the length that you set, and I'll show you that later, then take another series of photos, then take a video, and the camera will keep alternating between photo series and a video as long as the sensor is detecting something in front of the camera. Photo resolution. Set the photo resolution to either 5 megapixels, 8 megapixels, 12 megapixels, 16 megapixels, or 20 megapixels. Photo series. Set it to take just one photo in a series, two photos in a series, three photos in a series, or ten photos in a series. Video resolution. These are the different video resolutions you can set. The highest resolution is at the top at 1520p at 20 frames per second. 1520p is not 4K resolution, but it is a higher resolution than 1080p. TL video resolution. This is time lapse video resolution. You can record a time lapse video with this camera, and I'll show you the time lapse settings later. The camera will take a series of photos and make a time lapse video with those photos. These are the resolution choices of the photos that the camera takes to make the time lapse. Video length. 
This is where you set the video record time of each video that the camera takes. You can set it to anywhere from a minimum of 3 second videos to a maximum of 10 minute videos. Audio recording. You can turn audio recording on or off for your videos. Shot lag. Shot lag is the time between recording, either recording a photo or video. You can set a minimum shot lag of 2 seconds or a maximum shot lag of 10 minutes between recordings. The default setting is set to 30 seconds. Sensitivity motion sensor. Your choices are low, middle, or high. A high sensitivity rating will trigger everything from large animals to the smallest animals. A low sensitivity rating will forget about the small stuff and focus on larger animals. Target recording time. You can set the camera to work only during a set period of time during the day. Turn this feature on or off. If you turn it on, then you need to set the time period during the day that you want the camera to work. You have to use military time. For example, set it for 0200 to 0600. Then the camera will only capture images from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Time lapse. This is where you turn on the time lapse mode. Off is the default setting. For time lapse, the motion sensors are deactivated. So the time lapse setting is for taking a time lapse right now. Normal is only taking photos at an interval you set. The normal setting will not stitch the photos together to make a time lapse video. If you want the camera to stitch the photos together into a time lapse video, then choose this TL video mode. When you choose normal or TL video, the camera will ask you to set an interval between the photos. For example, take a photo every 5 seconds. Language. Set the menu language. The default is English. Endless capture. Choose on or off. If off, then the camera will stop shooting when the micro SD card is full. If on, the camera will delete old photos and videos to keep recording when the SD card is full. Time and date. Set the current date and time into the camera. You also can choose between military time or standard time format. Photo stamp. If you want a date or time stamp on your photos, time and date puts the time and date on the photo when the photo was taken. Date just puts the date that the photo was taken. Password protection. You can set a four digit password that must be entered every time that the camera is turned on. Beep sound. You can turn on or off the menu beep. Format memory card. If you put in a new micro SD card, you should format it before using the camera. Serial number. If you have more than one trail camera, you can give each camera a different four digit serial number. And this four digit serial number will be displayed in the left of the photo stamp to distinguish which camera the photo was taken from. Reset settings. You can reset the camera settings to the factory default settings. Version. This will show you the current firmware version. Okay, that is it. I hope that you like this trail camera.